what's up um, I'm just sitting at home while Jacob is at work tonight um, he's working at church for the single parents and I just felt like God totally laid something on my heart um, that he has laid on my heart um, several months of oh my gosh I don't have my ring on um, I'm married y'all but um, gosh what was I saying oh God laid something on my heart and it's so strong on my heart because I walked through a season that many of you guys are walking through. And if you know anything about my testimony, then I should just be an example to you guys. Not even an example, but an example of the incredible grace that God can have on your life. Um, most of y'all know me from college. I was not the greatest person. I was not the greatest person in high school. Um, I really struggled to find the Lord and I was caught up in everything that this world was caught up in. I was, oh, it was just, it was bad. Whatever you guys think that you have done that is so bad, I have done except 10 times worse. But what I want to focus on in this video is your, your singleness. And I remember being in my singleness and feeling so broken feeling like God had completely forgotten about me. Um, I felt like I was never going to find my husband. Um, anybody I had been in relationship previously before Jacob, it was destructive. And I didn't know why. And it was because it was of the world. And I just want to tell you guys that the girls out there who feel like God has given up on you, and that you're gonna be single forever, God has not given up on you, and you will not be single forever, but maybe, just maybe, God is trying to teach you something in this season of singleness. He's trying to um, get you to depend on Him, to find your worth in Him, and not in the things of this world. God, has not forgotten about you he didn't forget about me and he could have easily forgotten about me because of all the sinners in the world i truly believe i am the biggest sinner and i was the biggest sinner but god poured his grace on my life and y'all i wanted a godly man but i felt so unworthy of receiving such a gift because i know how sinful i had been in my past and I just want to tell you guys that you girls who are single, there are so many things that you can be doing in this season instead of feeling sorry for yourself or wondering why God has answered this prayer for so many other girls and that he's forgotten about you. He hasn't. He's just trying to teach you something in this season, guys. He's just trying to He's trying to get you to be content in Him. He wants you to go out and reach other people. Do you guys know that the most influential people, some of the most influ influential people in this world were called to singleness? Number one, Paul in the Bible was single. And look how many books he wrote in the New Testament. God was using his gift as singleness to bring glory to his name. And now Paul is an example for millions, billions of us Christians out there. You know who else was single? Mother Teresa, Oprah Winfrey. These people have never been married. And greatest of all, Jesus. Jesus was never married. He did not need someone to complete his purpose here on earth. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't need somebody to complete you for you have purpose in this life. God has purpose for you in this season. And I'm not saying that you're called to be single for the rest of your life. But I'm just saying, what if you used your season of singleness instead of focusing on yourself and how you feel like God's forgotten about you, that you focused on Christ and you focused on the people that you can reach, guys. And my singing season of singleness, God uses all the time. When I met students on Wednesday nights, he uses the broken things that happened in my season of singleness to help other people and to give them advice and to lead them to Christ because I walked through it, guys. I felt 
that pain that you are feeling in your season of singleness. And I just want you to know that God's not forgotten about you. That you still have purpose in this season of singleness. So use it until he brings the right one. Use it. Say, God, I'm so content with where I'm at that I don't, I don't need somebody else. And when you get to that point, God is able to give you a husband or a wife because he knows that you won't make that an idol in your life, that you won't put it before God. And if you make your husband or your wife an idol, it's going to lead to destruction in your relationship. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to separate you guys. So you have to have God first, even in your marriage. And guys, if you're not content when you're single, I promise you that you will not be content when you're married. Because being content is not about what you have. It's about the condition of your heart. So if you're not content when you're not in a relationship, you're not going to be content when you're in a relationship. I know that because I had to face the hard facts. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and I hope this encourages you, even though I'm being kind of harsh, but it's because I needed someone to speak these words to me when I was in the same season that you guys are walking through. Love you guys so much. Hope this helped you out.